Hey everybody, Sumi back with some Genshin Impact for you. We're going to be talking about the elites in the game that you can farm and some locations that are not listed in this book here. So as you can see, this book's pretty limited. It's leaving out some mages. I mentioned this in the last video I did. See, it doesn't show any ruin guards in Liwei. However, there are some. It doesn't show a few other things here. But I also made a discovery the other day. So TLDR of that is going to be the wind elementals actually do drop artifacts and not to mention they drop five to six hundred more per kill same as the big stone bossy boys that are also aren't listed in the book so i've thrown down a couple of spots that have the uh the big boys a couple of hams here for other spots i think those are ruin guards and looks like I used the skull for the wind elementals too. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys some spots that you might not know about or spots that aren't in that book that might help you. There's only going to be one in Mondstadt, so we'll go ahead and start with that one. If you've watched my previous video, you'll notice this is the same spot as the common chest route that I do up here, one of many. I'm still working on a few videos for Li Wei and a more comprehensive common chest route, if you will. I think I'm going to have to make a new account to really get that to work, though. Let me just wait for this wind current. Okay, we're going to head over here. So if you recall, this is the start of the spot that I was doing common chests at here. There's one right about down here. What we actually want is up this way. Now, I do not have a wind character in my current party. I swapped Vinti out temporarily because I'm testing some damage stuff with Fischl still. So it's going to take us an extra maybe 10 seconds to get where I want to go, so you just bear that in mind. If you happen to decide to come this way, you might want a wind member to be able to hit this little guy right here. Not a big deal either way. What we're looking for is the wind elemental that's going to be up here. I can't see him just yet, but I want to go ahead and show the spot, and then we'll move on to the next one. It's mildly annoying. So one way to get up here that doesn't involve using that little puzzle mechanism, it's a bit roundabout, but you can just climb this wall. Hope I started with enough stamina for that. Oh, please no, please no, please no. Okay. Well, I look silly. How is it that I can't climb that lip, but I climbed the lip a moment ago? Whatever. Alright, making our way over here. So you can see the first wind elemental is going to be here. I'm going to go ahead and show this kill real quick. I'm kind of on the fence about whether I should actually kill these as we go along. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think we'll do that. If you um, want a slightly faster paced video, you can put me on 1.5 times or just kind of skip around. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. It shouldn't take but a moment to kill these things if they'll cooperate. Got to get him to come down for a moment, and hopefully he doesn't fall off the edge. This one's actually being kind of obnoxious, so we might scratch the idea. Okay. We'll just kill this one as a proof of concept to show that they do drop quite a bit of Mora. Really? Get down here, good lord. Once he's on the ground, he's toast. Quickly check in the bottom left corner, 600 more for that kill, and you can see he did drop an Instructor's Teacup. I have to remember to record that in a moment, but I've killed 7 of those, and 4 of them have dropped blue artifacts, so take from that what you will, that's not nearly enough of a sample size to come up with actual data. I could have just gotten lucky so far, but it really is looking like they do drop them more often than I thought. So that's two proofs in one, 600 more, and a blue accessory from a mob that I previously did not think had any drops other than the Mora. So first we're going to go ahead and take a look one more time. That's Mount Aozang, I guess is how you pronounce that. We're going to look at the spots that I know of that have wind elementals first. And then we'll transition into the other guys. And then we'll finish off with a couple of heavy-duty ruin guard locations. One of them is going to be a bit of a DPS test, but you guys can handle it if you're at this point. 
Let's just go ahead and glide forever. And this is the same mountain that you do the food offering quests at. There are one main story and one side story quest here. So you come right over this lip right here. You might not know this chest is here. There's usually a chest right down here. But there's also going to be two wind elementals here. And they're not particularly difficult. Man, that wind current is awfully loud. I thought I turned that down. Anyway, you got two right down here. If you want to mark these on the map, I'll show the map again. Uh, last wind elemental that I know of is here. Fortunately, these are all fairly close to teleporters, making the route somewhat easier. I say route, but you can kind of do these in any order you want to, as long as you're getting the kills. Yeah, five to six hundred more a pop and a decent drop rate on blue artifacts is nothing to sneeze at. These do, as far as I know, reset every day with the other elites. I've tried many ways to get them to reset artificially. It just doesn't work. Uh, last guy's down here. You can see where that's at. Kind of step up the pace a little bit. Now we're going to swing this way, and I'll kill a different kind of mob real quick. I forget what these things are called. I've only seen their name, like, once or twice. But these are going to be the same tier of elite as the Wind Elemental, in the sense that they give five to 600 mora and also have a decent drop rate on blues. At least in my experience. So we're going to light him up. That rotation was a little wonky. Just uh, pretend you didn't see that. Oof. That is unfortunate. Go down. There we go. Alright, so this guy... Unfortunately, he did not drop it, but you can see 585 Mora on the left. He does drop some materials. No artifact, but that's to be expected. I'll make sure to record that later. So that first spot's going to be right here. The next one... Don't be too confused. I separated these out. We're not going to the hams. We're going to the little demon masks. So I can knock out whatever this tier of elites is, if you want to call it that. I consider these guys maybe like a tier above Ruin Guards and Ruin Hunters just because they pay out with like two and a half times as much Mora. 500 more is not a lot, but once you run out of things to do, 500 more becomes 500 more than you had before, if you know what I mean. So the next one, you can actually see he's down here. I'm not going to go all the way down here. Just wanted to go ahead and show that he is indeed there. Spoiler alert, Ruin Guards in that direction. We'll be back here later. Yeah, you can see that's down here. It's approximately here on the map. Next one's right behind us. This one is over by the Raksha quest. You can see he's just pacing right down this hill. You can swing over and kill that guy if you want to. Uh, let's see, did I have any more recorded anywhere? I feel like that was probably... Yeah, oh no, okay. Last one you probably all know about. It's over by Salterra. I'm not actually sure if drowning these guys affects their drop rate, but kind of bonus points here, but I'm sure you've already heard this from other people. You can actually drown this one here, and I'll go ahead and just show it while we're on the topic, just for some extra spice on the video. But there is a, I believe it's a Wonders of the World achievement for killing one of these guys without breaking their stone shield, which can be kind of difficult unless you've just got a lot of DPS. But there is a way to cheese that. And we're going to go ahead and just do that real quick. Let me get my stamina back. So if I go over here, aggro him. See, he's got his stone shield. If you actually swing over this way to whatever's over here, if you just keep an eye on this guy. Oh, relax, relax. See, he's actually just an idiot. I didn't see any materials drop, though. That looks like... Oh, wait, they're down at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so... As a footnote, good for getting the achievement, not good for farming materials because the stuff sinks if he drowns, it appears. So yeah, something to keep in mind. That's the last of the Giga Churls or whatever they're called. Now I'm going to show a couple of places that have Ruin Guards that are not listed. They're going to be the Ham Chunks here. There are two different ones listed, but you can actually just do this in one quick sweep. It's five Ruin Guards, which is pretty nice. So you can see the first one's actually pacing right up there. The second one is going to be pacing right down here on the road. I'll show you where this map is one more time. 
So you got one kind of up in this area, one where this little meat slab is. So you probably want to swing up there, tap him, swing over here, tap him. I'm going to kill this one just so I can show, like, what's probably the most efficient way to kill one of these guys. If I can just get him to look at me. Come on. Pay attention. So if you tap him once, tap him again, he gets wrecked. You bird, you bear, and then you just lay into him. Right, level 56 Ruin Guard, these guys are fairly tanky, but he goes down really fast. So just like that, I'll mark this guy down later. This first one's up there, the second one's right where I just killed that one. Third one just aggroed me for whatever reason. He's up here on this ledge. Ignore these weird arrows, I'm not sure what, what that's all about. So the third one is right up here. So you can see we got one, two, three. And assuming I can get out of the way, I'm just gonna ignore that. Still dealt damage. Okay, so that actually answers a question I had earlier of whether you're invulnerable during that. Doesn't look like you are invulnerable during her burst. But anyway, you can see these stairs down here. I believe I actually showed this location in a previous video, but we're going to go ahead and just tack it onto the end of this. Fourth one you can see sitting down by the tree over there. He's just kind of chilling. He is a living, well, sort of living ruin guard. And the last one you can actually see is right there. So those two will pop. So that's five ruin guards in this little stretch of map right here. You can just kind of swing in a circle and kill them all from this teleporter. You've also got your two big boys right here, so this is actually kind of a hot spot. Uh, next Ruin ones were... or Ruin Guards, rather. Are they here? I th think? Yeah, this has got to be them. I believe I showed this particular spot in a previous video as well, but if you haven't seen it, yeah, we'll go ahead and showcase it again. You will probably find your way to this one, because there's a Ruin Hunter here, which is located in the Adventure Handbook. But just on the off chance you happen to miss one of the Ruin Guards that's kind of just hanging out. We'll just do start, or start to finish on this one. So obviously the first one's going to be right here. He's just pacing along. You can see the second Ruin Guard is hanging out right there. The Ruin Hunter you're going to get connected to with the Adventure Handbook is right there. And the last Ruin Guard is here. So you can just kind of start on this road, tap him, and then just walk up the stairs and get your four kills there. Very quick and easy. While we're on the topic, I'm going to go ahead and show in this general location something that isn't marked on the map at all. I only happen to see these guys because I was killing one of the pyro mages in the area, right there actually, and happened to notice the chanting down here. So once you kill that guy, if you're following the handbook... Right down here, you've actually got a Cryo Mage and two Hydro Mages. And I put a screenshot in Discord a while back. I killed these three, and two of them dropped a purple artifact for me once. This is kind of my lucky spot. So two of my five purple drops have been at this location at the same time. So that's what this marking is here. You can kind of see where we're at. It's on the sort of adjacent side of this mountain. That's where you're going to get those two at. Really quickly, we're going to pop over to this location. This is probably the best teleporter. And this is the spot earlier I mentioned might prove to be a bit of a DPS check for you because you're killing four Ruin Guards, but unless I'm just doing it hard for no reason, doing it the hard way rather, you have to kill them all at once or fight them all at once. Bonus points, there's a Sisson Mage right there. You probably get guided to that if you're following the handbook. Let's find out, actually. There might not be assistant mages on the leeway part. There's not. Okay, so there's another mob for you to kill. Okay, you'll have to forgive me. I've got to get this real quick. This stuff turns into the three-star equipment enhancement junk. The equipment EXP. Really handy stuff. Oh, I want to get that one, too. I'll hold off. Anyway. I haven't been collecting those as aggressively as I should, but each of those blue stones translates into like, you know, it's either 10 or 100k EXP, I forget how many zeros there were, but yeah, you can go to the blacksmith and do that. Our next spot's right here, this is a dicey area, these guys are guarding a chest, 
But I believe if I activate this one, all of them are going to pop alive. Yeah, see? So I just quickly kill these guys real quick. Let's, um, let's use some of this. Mm, I don't have all my stuff on cooldown. This is going to be kind of scuffed. It's going to be a lot of damage all of a sudden. Oh, official's going to proc barb result. Maybe not, maybe not. So what you probably want to do is just try to get these guys roughly in the same spot. And hope they don't start swinging. Okay, this is probably good enough. We'll go ahead and pop you. Pop you. Pop this. See, this is like really rough. Just to show that it like can be done. Let's we'll see if we can pop you. Pop you. Maybe not. We just want to get in here on these guys, really. Dodge as much as we can. Switch to Barbara. Proc her book. Switch back. This is rough. Let's go ahead and kill you. Everything's coming back online. So yeah, a bit of a tough fight there. Obviously, it could have been done better. It's just kind of hard to dodge four of them doing all those staggering attacks at the same time. Let's see if we got anything. It doesn't look like we did, but that's fine. Oh, we did. Okay, so one of them did drop a blue artifact for us. That's very nice. I'll mark that down later. So that's probably the hardest part here. Oops, ignore that. It's actually this island. Cool. Okay, and the last spot is just kind of a miscellaneous spot. It's only two mobs, but you know, if you're scrounging around the map looking for anything to kill, foaming at the mouth. Oh, there's actually a ruin guard right here. Huh, I'm learning too. Let's go ahead and throw a ham down here so I know he's here. So you could actually make a a trip out of this. There's a Ruin Guard right here, but what we're after in conjunction is going to be down this way, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't notice this before, but there's also a Sisson Mage on the way there, so you've got four elites over in this little corner of area. Another potentially spot, potential spot worth visiting. No, I'm not, as a matter of fact. Okay, right over the side of this cliff, and I believe this is the last spot that I had in my notes. We've probably covered, what, 20 elites by now that weren't listed on that on that page, so... You know, if you're looking for something to do and you're getting to the through the elite book too quickly, you got your last couple of boys right over here. I believe they're going to net you about 200 more apiece. Let's find out real quick, as a matter of fact. No, 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 that's not cool. Alright, chill out, chill out, chill out. I know we're about to get frozen. Don't worry. Okay, you can see 195 apiece on the left side here, once it gathers. Okay, that one dropped a blue accessory. Got to record that in a moment. The other one... Oh, here they go. Okay. So one of their accessories not bad. So, like, just in the time we've been doing this video, you've already seen three blue accessories drop, or artifacts drop, which is not a lot, but, I mean, you're saving yourself more on having to do artifact runs. And by more, I mean resin. I don't know where my brain's at. But yeah. Quite a bit going on here. I'm just going to quickly zoom out on the map so you can get a, another idea of where all we're looking at. I don't know what this is marked for, but there's nothing there, I don't think. So your first spot's roughly right around here. Didn't have that one marked for some reason. But the majority of what you're looking for is going to be here, 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 here. There, 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 and there. And where I'm at, of course.
So yeah, quite a few elites. Hopefully that helps some of you guys. If you want more videos like this, I'll be happy to make some more in the future. The next thing on my list is probably an extensive common chest route. It'll involve me making a new account and not picking any of them up, though, because I'd really like to make a better visualization. Yeah, hopefully it helped. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more content. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much for your time, and have a good night.